Stephanie, we start with new information on that shooting of an inmate right on I-94 in downtown Detroit. The death of the 23-year-old inmate is now the focus of two investigations as police try to figure out what went wrong. Local 4 is Jermon Terry live near the scene. And Jermon, a lot of questions still need to be answered tonight. Yes, Karen, there are many questions and investigators with MSP and DPD, they're trying to figure out exactly how all of this went down. Then there's a second internal affairs probe that's being conducted by the Wayne County Sheriff's Office to determine whether or not proper protocol took place when they were transporting this inmate. The entrance ramp to I-75 from the westbound lanes of 94 shut down for nearly five hours. Investigators from Michigan State Police, Detroit Police, and the Wayne County Sheriff's Office filled the highway. A Wayne County deputy on duty opened fire, killing an inmate in a moving ambulance. We've learned the deputy is a veteran with the Sheriff's Office. He was in the private ambulance guarding this 23-year-old man. The man had just left an area hospital. The deputy was not driving. Instead, he was there to make sure everyone arrived here to the downtown jail safely. But before they could get there, something went wrong. It's unclear if the man tried reaching for the deputy's gun or was attempting to escape the moving vehicle. But the sheriff's officials described a, quote, violent struggle between the inmates and deputy in the back of the moving ambulance. We don't know if the fight lasted for seconds or several minutes, but it ended with the deputy firing a fatal shot. The 23-year-old man from Detroit died on scene. The deputy was not seriously injured. But the big question, how did this inmate get in position to fight this deputy? Inmates are required to be restrained and secured while in transit. The Sheriff's Department's internal probe is to determine if that in fact happened. If not, why? And if the inmate was secure, how did he break free? MSP and DPD's Homicide Division are handling the death and the events from the hospital up to that deadly shot on this freeway. Now, there is, in fact, one key witness in all of this. It's the driver of the ambulance. That person likely heard, potentially saw everything that took place. We should point out that man was, that driver was driving along I-94 here. And when that shot went off, thankfully, he did not hit any of the other cars along I-94. Again, an open probe tonight. Reporting live tonight, Jermont Terry, Local 4. So, Jermont, is it clear then if the deputy actually shot the man inside the vehicle or on the freeway? Karen, that is not clear. I tried to get that answer from the Wayne County Sheriff's Office. They're not saying tonight, but I can tell you when I arrived on scene this afternoon, we saw that body on the road. All right, and that investigation obviously is continuing tonight. Thank you, Jermont.